Okay, so I'm rebranding. Hey guys, and welcome to my first video of 2021. I'm so excited for everything that I have planned. Okay. The only reason why I didn't really come on camera as quickly as I originally planned after Christmas was for one, I did Vlogmas for the first time this year. Though it didn't go as smooth as I thought it would, I did get 25 videos out in the month of December, editing every single day, and that's pretty draining. On top of it being my first semester in college and having finals week, like it was kind of a struggle. So it did take a lot out of me, so I did have to rest for that. And for two, I I wanted to come back on camera with good quality. Um, it's in the mail. So it's coming. I bought a camera, which was something that I was not really planning on doing, like starting my 2021 out like this. But I realized in 2020 that I'm like pretty invested in my YouTube. I said previously that I didn't want to start pouring money into my channel until I really knew that I was going to be into it because I have tried it before and never stayed consistent. But for the most part, all of 2020, I stayed pretty consistent. As soon as I started uploading, my first video back on the channel was my dorm haul and I think that went up in either July or August I want to say July from then on I think I missed maybe two weeks total I was uploading every single week after that December I posted 25 videos in the month of December I kind of fell in love with me editing I'm still learning I still have a lot to learn anyways all that to be said I bought a camera I just went ahead and did it like without thinking I just bought it this is something that I've looked for to for years since i found youtube i used to have a tablet and i would sit it on the floor and make videos and talk to myself on my tablet um they would never be shown to anyone but i'll just do it and it's kind of weird but when i'm thinking about a video to do i'll sit down in my mirror and act as if i'm filming it like i don't know i've always wanted a camera never really was in the budget i just randomly decided to use like basically my entire savings to invest in my channel so I did buy a camera. So it is coming. Hopefully it gets here in time for me to go to school. Hopefully that works out. Okay. But let me just show you why I got a new camera. Let me show you this quality right quick. So this is my new camera. Sorry, I still have to get used to it. I keep looking at my monitor, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna look out the lane. Okay, but basically I'm gonna give y'all a quick little rundown of what this camera is, what it does, just the basics. But anyways, all that to be said, I don't know what it sounds like. I just literally just got the mic in the mail and just plugged it in and started recording because I'm fighting against daylight. I don't have any of my lights here, so I have to use daylight and I wanted to film this today. I hope it sounds good. So let's get into the camera so i have the canon eos 800d and for the most part they said that these like the eos t7i the t6i like all of those were a pretty good option and a pretty inexpensive dslr camera for new youtubers i got this camera i believe for $6.99 before tax after tax i believe it was like 740 somewhere around there but still not terrible for a camera here it is as you guys and see the quality is great i did get the camera yesterday i played around with a little bit of the functions i'm still learning like i said i just got it yesterday basically this is the canon eos 800d this is what the box looks like this is also known as the canon t7i they are the same camera literally it literally says rebel t7i i don't really know what that's about don't ask me i don't know i ordered it from amazon i actually got it in a bundle deal so i got the camera and everything that comes in it so everything that came in the camera's actual box it came with two different cords one for i don't really know what this is for and the second one is the cord to go into the battery so i do have a battery charger which also came with the camera and it also came with a battery inside of the actual camera box so if you order just the camera this is everything that you will get so i just decided to stick with the kit lens and i think it's pretty nice and pretty decent i think it looks pretty nice i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna 
I feel like I feel like I really did that but anyway so like I said I will pop up the actual bundle that I got as well as put it in the description so that there's a link to it so that you guys can access it that way so make sure that you check that out if you're interested in getting this camera and this bundle that I got it just came with a few extra things it came with an SD card we bought that it's actually in my camera like I said and along with that it also came with an SD converter I don't really know what it's really called and that's how you can get everything off of the SD card so that's really nice that it came with that it also came with this brush thing I don't really know what this is for maybe just to like clean dust that gets inside the lens or something it came with it and it was free so I mean I used it to dust off my keyboard on my MacBook because it gets pretty dusty I'm not gonna lie so that was convenient for that but I don't really know what it has to do with the camera but and then the last thing that came in the bundle was these filters so I can put these on and off and it'll change that's all that I got in my bundle I'm sorry if it's a little wonky I know you guys can probably see like the wall in the background that line isn't even I actually don't have my tripods here both of my tripods are back at school so it's just my camera's just kind of sitting up so sorry about that yeah so that's pretty much all of the basic stuff about my camera that's just it <laughs> I'm gonna go back to poor quality Kira so that she can talk to you about a few more things and yeah let's kick off 2021 <laughs> Like what? Why wouldn't I get a new camera? Like what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why wouldn't I? So I'm so excited to have a camera and to really start developing my YouTube channel and to bring better content for you guys. I have been thinking over my branding and everything and it took me a minute to figure everything out and I am going to do a series. I have a few series planned for this year but I am going to do one series on the YouTube stuff. I know a lot of you guys liked when I did one vlog where I basically kind of told you how I edit and what I used to edit and kind of like the basics of everything but I actually want to sit down and make a series I just wanted to put a few videos together to make you guys feel a little more comfortable with your editing style with your branding creating graphics and things like that so I am going to come out with a series pretty soon but yeah I I'm just so excited for this year i sat down so many times with myself having a meeting on my rebranding i just have so much planned i just have a feeling that this is going to be great and something that i'm like 100 truly going to fall in love with like this is it so i'm gonna go ahead and pass it back over to good quality kira i know y'all probably missed that so i'm gonna go ahead and pass that back over to her so that she can talk about her rebranding my rebrand our rebranding and you know what's gonna make 2021 so good for this channel thank you guys so much for sticking with me through 2020 and all of you guys who found me in 2020 i love you i love the people who found me before like when i first started who have stayed subscribed to me this whole time even when i was like off the grid for like two years like thank you <laughs> thank you so much you know we're gonna make 2021 great but let's keep it moving so let's pass it on to good quality hero okay because I'm ready to see my camera. Oh, I'm ready to do. I'm ready to play with it. I do. <laughs> well, bye, y'all. Okay, so as far as rebranding goes, I'm so excited to be rebranding my channel. I know you guys have no clue. It took me a while, like I said, to kind of figure out how exactly I wanted to rebrand. But I think that my rebranding that I went for fits me a lot better. Not saying that the way that my channel was in the past was... Sorry, let me get it right not saying that my channel in the past was bad in any way shape or form but it's just not me and I think that just by my channel art it encompasses me it has pictures of me when I was younger me now like it's just me I just think that it fits me a lot better I love it I'm really into nude which is why I use that as my color background and I'm just obsessed with it I'm excited to see how everything goes and how everything flows Someone is calling me. Anyways, I'm so excited for my rebranding. I just think that it really fits me a lot better. I know a little bit more about my editing style and how I want to do things. I've created graphics and I just think that better it fits the way that my channel is going and my channel art, it shows me without makeup, with makeup, being funny, being like different hairstyles, like, and that's 
kind of what I want my channel to be. It's not just going to be makeup. It's not just going to be hair. It's not just going to be challenges and me joking around. Like, it's just going to be a combination of all this stuff. And I think that my channel art itself explains a lot of that. So just gotta put that out there it took me a minute to figure out what exactly what i wanted to do but i'm happy with the way it's going i'm excited about the way it's going and i probably said the same exact stuff before but 2021 i think is going to be a pretty good year for my channel as far as everything goes i'm starting it off right i got me a nice little camera a little setup everything is just set and ready to go it's in place and on the right track i'm gonna say that everything is just great it's just like a weight lifted off my shoulders i feel like I can really get into it now like I actually have a camera and I can bring good quality good quality content and we're just gonna build and grow together so I hope you guys like my graphics I played around with a few things in this video and I'm y'all don't understand I've already edited a lot I'm in love with it like <laughs> I'm just so excited for everything in the future. I hope you guys are just as excited. Don't worry, I didn't forget about my 800 subscriber giveaway that is coming and there's many giveaways to come in the year of 2021. I am so happy to be back here with you guys in 2021 and to celebrate a good year. Let's kick it off right. I know it's kind of rough in 2020 for a lot of people, but all this to be said, just realize and be grateful for the fact that you actually made it to 2021 a lot of people did not make it you lost a lot of lives from the jump and just be grateful that you made it don't speak or sit in the negative of 2020 just make 2021 better for you and move on <laughs> there's nothing that we can do about the past live in the now grow be you be beautiful flourish and make 2021 your year don't let 2020 weigh you down don't let that be the reason that you can't kick off 2021 and jump start and if you haven't done it yet don't be ashamed okay literally just get up and do it now do it now start doing it start doing it you still got time it's only what's today girl you got plenty of time take your time but live in the now stay positive and keep going that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah. sorry i keep looking at the monitor gotta look at you <laughs> bye guys I'm feeling myself too much. Why? Gotta chill out. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Why?